Hi everyone, Cinexsoft here. So now what I have is an Android TV box called the Quintex Q912 uh, based on AIM Logic 192 processor and uh, they've installed Kodi 17 Alpha in the firmware by default. Uh, it's not a release version yet, so uh, but that will show uh, what Kodi 17 will look like when it's uh, released. And as you can see, this, the main skin has changed from Confluence to a new one. I forgot the name, it will be in the description. So if you want to go to settings, move down here, we can go to system information. to see the output resolution Android version and this is called the Alpha 3 maybe with some modifications but hard to know and then one of the fir first thing I do uh, when I get a box I make sure uh, I just display refresh rate is enabled so I had to do this. The way to go there is a little different. And also uh, I set up the AV receiver, HDMI audio pass-through, going to system settings, audio, enable pass-through. And here you can see they have DTS and DTH SD. Uh, true HD is not enabled. Okay, so that's the main uh, settings I changed now. Really. And usually I go to video to add my media and my new files uh, to browse for some bashers, but here there is nothing. So you have to go. At the top right select files, add videos and go through a user interface similar to Kodi 16 and previous versions. I've done so and now I have my video sample Samba share there. So let's try some 4K videos. This one has no audio, everything is normal. Uh, but you can see on the on the two sides of my TV uh, there is a black bar. It's not quite normal. So we can go to the settings here. To try to change the zoom and why zoom does it? Ah no, not this one. Let me try another one. Yes, zoom. Okay, but let's switch to another video. Uh, for example, this H.265 video. And we can see hardware acceleration is implemented and is working. Okay. Again, this video has no vid uh, this video has no audio, so that's normal. Let's try a uh, Rec 2020 video. Again, H.265, we can see it's hardware decoding. And now you can see the video stream is 59.94 frames per second. What about the display? It's still 2160p at 24 hz So automatic frame switching is not working, at least with this device. 
Okay, another VPN, VP9 with audio. <coughs> and you can see again, hardware decoding is working. Yes, I still don't find it's perfectly smooth. It looks like many players have problems. Okay. Well, let's go back to the black bar on the side here. So I will change the zoom level. To zoom. Okay, now I exit. And you will see the frame will jump very often. So there is a bug here when you set the zoom uh, okay one more video for Azure 265 8 bit again but 60 frames per second <coughs> and this video is fairly good Uh, let's go uh, for a 10 bit video. 10 bit H.265. No problem whatsoever. And okay, that's all for this. Now let's go to audio test. This one is .bit Digital 5.1 And no problem, no audio cuts uh, as I have seen on some other MLogic TV box with Kodi 16 Point one. This one is Atmos, is a derivative of TrueHD, and this is not supported. It will just uh, don't mix to PCM 2.0. Uh, okay, and TrueHD is the same. Let's try 7.1. And this is also Dolby Digital Plus 7.1 is also converted to PCM2. And now DTS, DCS HDMA. <coughs> the video is black, there is no audio. And this happened for all uh, DTS videos I have, I have three. So this is. This part is still very much work in progress. Okay, that's all I wanted to show. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.